Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Ria Varsami and I'm a Samanic Astrologer. Today I will be sharing with you astrological information about the upcoming full moon that is happening in the energy of Leo on the 5th of February. So first of all, uh, I want to share with you that all planets are direct. Uh, we have this very straightforward energy that is since the 22nd of January when the last planet Uranus moved also direct. So we'll be having all planets direct until the 21st of April when Mercury will start its retrograde period again. So this is an amazing opportunity, an amazing openness from the universe to really move on. Um, so about the full moon, this is a, a very magical full moon in Leo. Uh, every time we have a full moon is when the moon is on, it, on the peak of the cycle, is a time where we release, we let go of the old, is when we can see things that were hidden before the full moon brings things up to the light. And now Leo is ruled by the sun, so it's actually the opposite energy of, uh, of the moon and it's a very shiny, bright, uh, warm, uh, charged energy. So this full moon in Leo uh, wants us to really uh, see things uh, that we were under the carpet that we couldn't see before, brings light to things that uh, they were kind of like hidden uh, from us uh, to see so we can really uh, be uh, confident to step up uh, as a leaders to uh, find our authentic voice, our authentic expression, so to the world uh, who we are. Uh, so it's shining to all these things, uh, bringing light to our own inner struggles, our own inner limitations and obstacles that we create for ourselves in order to see them, release them, heal and really move on. Because this energy of this full moon is really to move on. Uh, first of all, I want to say with you, if you are not a subscriber to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can support my work. So now, under this full moon, we have a very, uh, let's say, difficult aspect, but also very uh, powerful for us to move on. So we have a T-square. Every time we have a full moon, we have the moon doing an opposition with the sun. So they're opposites in the chart. So we have the moon in Leo and we have the sun in Aquarius doing a square, both the Sun and the Moon squaring Uranus, that's why we have a T-square. And uh, Uranus is in the energy of Taurus. Uranus is the planet of awakening. Uranus is the planet of freedom. Uh, Uranus is the planet also of sudden changes. So having this T-square and Uranus being in the energy of Taurus, which talks a lot about our foundations, our roots, it's also a very, it's an earthy, uh, earth element energy, so it's a lot of like, represent also in things that we really identify and hold on like let's say our old self our old uh, persona and then we have the the new the full moon in leo wants us to really shine break free and we have the sun in aquarius bringing really this new uh, energy this new era so this t square want us uh, wants to set us free to liberate us from any uh, internal struggle, uh, limitation, uh, obstacle we put for ourselves and also uh, wants us to leave our old self back. It's time to leave the old self back. It's, uh, it's, it's time to leave back this like operating through the victim state, operating through misery, through following again and again the same patterns and not seeing any results. Like we really have to let go of all of this and really embody uh, fully uh, the new self. That's what this, new, this full moon wants us to do. Embody the new self and really allow ourselves to sign, break free from all these uh, walls we put around ourselves and sign. Now, another uh, very important thing that really helps us to do that is Lilith. Uh, Lilith is uh, an asteroid. In astrology, we call it dark moon goddess. It represents the dark side of the moon. Uh, and represents our, um, our deepest hidden feminine power. It's also collided with our, uh, our sexuality and our uh, feminine power, uh, creative power. And the dark moon Lilith is also in Leo. So we have the full moon and Lilith in the energy of Leo. So this is uh, the goddess energy is, uh, is very present and it wants us really to face our deepest fears. Lilith is very much related also with that. Face our deepest fears and take our power back. 
take our power back from situations, from people, uh, also from uh, even places uh, and take our power back and lead and step up, face these, uh, these fears and uh, liberate ourselves and sign. Uh, so this is a, a time to, to sign beyond our fears. Uh, now we have some more uh, helpful aspects under this full moon. We have the moon doing a trine with Chiron, which is a good aspect. Chiron is an asteroid, it's called the wounded healer. It's how we will heal and uh, it shows us our deepest wounds uh, in our chart, when we study our, our natal chart. So the moon training Chiron brings us solutions uh, towards our healing. So let's say we have been facing a childhood trauma now for a long time, even for years, even for decades, even for our whole life, and we couldn't get out of it. We couldn't find actually, let's say, a solution to break free and move on into this new state of being, of consciousness. This full moon brings this opportunity to really end this cycle of just living out of certain traumas and find a solution, find an opening so we can uh, be in our true essence, in our true energy, energetic blueprint. And another very important thing, we have uh, Mars, the planet of action, manifestation, the planet that has to do with our masculine energy and how we express it, is very active under this full moon, is doing aspects with many planets and also the Mar uh, Mars is uh, sextiling the moon, the full moon. So this is a time which is a great time of taking action. This full moon gives us an openness, wants us to bring new doors, wants to open new doors for us. But in order for us to step in into these new doors, we have to leave back the old. We have to, be, we have to leave back the story we have been telling to ourselves even for years, even for our whole life about who we are and how we show up to the world. So this is the time for us to sign. Uh, so this is a uh, very positive, uh, very, let's say, so it brings a lot of flow, this energy, but in order as well, again, to, to go to, through this, uh, we have to sit with ourselves and really take some time to observe these limitations and take them out, like take them out of the system, set ourselves free and move on uh, to our path. So that's all I want to share with you about this uh, amazing full moon in Leo. Uh, of course, if you want to learn more about how it will affect you personally, I'm offering 30 minute personal full moon readings, which you can book directly on my website. I'll put the link below that can really assist you uh, on your path. And uh, I'm looking forward to see you in my next video. Very, very happy full moon. Uh, to everybody and I wish you uh, all the best to really take advantage of this uh, powerful energy. Bye.